Hi, I'm Timo from Equip2 and I'm here to show you guys how to use the remote on the CBI 5800. First step is to turn the isolator on and then turn the ignition on. Okay, then we press the blue reset button. Grab the remote, take out the red e-stop button. Using this button here, we turn the remote on by holding it down. Then to use the remote, we need to switch it into radio mode. This can only be done once the remote is on. So this remote cycles through the relevant um, data that you would be looking at while you're operating this machine. So you have fuel rate, boost pressure, hydraulic oil temperature, drive bearing degrees, non-drive bearing degrees, uh, watch run rate you're using, engine RPM, and coolant temperature, and back to oil pressure again. Also, shows you battery level and um, how much reception you have with the remote. First up to activate tracking, we need to hold down these two buttons here for at least three seconds and then let go. This will put it into tracking mode. Um, when the engine is running, this an alarm will sound. Um, cool. When in tracking mode, these four buttons here, highlighted in the yellow, um, are used to track the machine forward and back. This function here, just pressing this once, changes it from first speed to second speed. And while you are in tracking mode, these two functions are also available, which is hydraulic folding of the conveyor system. To take it out of tracking mode, it will either time out or you can hold these buttons down again and the alarm will stop as you let go and it will be out of tracking mode. So these yellow functions will not be available. So all the functions that have no white highlighted around them um, are functions that happen when you press the button. So for instance this one here is to change your run rate. So you got one, two, three and four. You can just press this button and it will change which run rate that you're using. Uh, this one here is to change your engine RPM up and down with the turtle and the rabbit. These two here are for your feed forward and feed reverse to turn the function on. And these two functions here are reverse stop and reverse forward for the feeds. These two down the bottom are your top roll up and top roll down. This is your top feed roll. So if you have material that's too big and doesn't want to climb over, you can lift it up or you can apply down more down pressure by holding this button while it's operating. Now to use the functions that are highlighted with the white background, so that is these four here, you need to hold down the FN button and then you'll be able to use these buttons here. So this is a faster conveyor speed setting and a slower conveyor speed setting, so you can adjust this as you're operating. Um, this function here turns the IntelliGrind off, which is part of your feeder control, and this function here is to turn the conveyor on and off. When you are finished with the remote, first switch it back to local mode then you can turn the remote off by pressing the red button for more information please contact us at equip2